530. Four teens have been arrested for stealing 77 firearms from a Prairie Grove hardware store. Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Kelly O'Neill. Chelsea Helms is on assignment. We'll check in with her a little bit later in the show. Fox 24's Katie Davila is live in studio with the latest. Katie? 77 firearms were stolen from the Ace Hardware store last night, and now the four people responsible are under arrest. Jeff O'Brien with the Prairie Grove Police Department tells us the suspects are four juvenile males between the ages of 14 and 16 years old. The teens are charged with commercial burglary, theft of firearms, and criminal mischief. Now take a look at your screen here. This surveillance video from the store shows in just two minutes three people fill a bin and duffel bag with pistols, revolvers, and long rifles. About an hour later, the criminals went back with a fourth person to steal more firearms. Chief O'Brien says the teams wouldn't be behind bars if it wasn't for the help of Northwest Arkansas law enforcement. There's a, just a ton of agencies here that came together in this case, offered up their resources, their services, their knowledge, expertise in this, uh, this type of investigation. And because of that, we were able to bring some resolve within five days. The suspects are being held at the Washington County Juvenile Detention Center. While some guns were recovered, police are still asking for help to recover all 77 firearms. I'm in studio, Katie Davila, Fox 24 News. Thank you, Katie. Staying in Prairie Grove, a coach has handed in his resignation after being cited for allowing a student to use a taser on a classmate. Chris Milam, a physical education teacher and baseball coach in Prairie Grove, was cited with one count of endangering the welfare of a minor. According to police, Milam allowed a student to leave the classroom to grab a taser from a vehicle and tase another student to avoid further baseball conditioning at practice. Police also say an anonymous source reported Milam allowed kids to smoke and vape during baseball practice. Prairie Grove Superintendent Reba Holmes confirms that Milam handed in his resignation letter today. The school board does not meet until next month where the board will make the decision to accept or deny the resignation. Police are looking for a driver involved in a hit and run that left one man injured. Van Buren police are now looking for a silver Toyota Tundra. The accident happened before 2 a.m. in the parking lot at Simmons plant, according to police. The, pe the pedestrian was also, that was hit suffered a head injury and a possible broken ankle. He was taken to a local hospital. In Benton County, a smoke-filled cockpit causing an emergency landing at XNA. According to Public Safety Director for XNA Gilbert Neal, Envoy Air, a carrier for American Airlines, safely made an emergency landing this afternoon. The plane was headed to Dallas from Springfield, Missouri. It was declared an alert too, which is what we we consider could be a bad situation. So we take all the precautions. All the all of our our crews are out there and all the responding agencies in the area respond out here to help us. And we had a good response today. The reason for the smoke has not yet been determined. There were 57 people on board. The man who wanted a red dirt mine in Fayetteville has appealed the Washington County Planning Board's denial of his request for a permit. Bobby Morris, the property owner, filed the appeal in the county clerk's office on Tuesday. On February 14th, the, plan, the Planning Commission denied a permit for the rock quarry planned to be built on Greensboro Road in West Fayetteville. More than 50 neighbors attended that meeting and voiced their concern. County Attorney Brian Lester says the appeal is expected to be considered at the March 21st Quorum Court meeting. An Alabama woman who left the country to join ISIS in Syria will not be allowed back in the country. The U.S. State Department released a statement Wednesday saying Hoda Muthana is no longer a U.S. citizen. Washington correspondent Drew Petramo reports. Hoda Muthana grew up in Hoover, Alabama. Her family was active in the local mosque, but the family lawyer Hassan Shibley says Muthana's life was sheltered. Her mom didn't really let her have a lot of friends and I think she tried to find belonging online. And it was online that Shibley says Muthana became radicalized. It's no different than how sex traffickers and gangs and violent criminals really prey on vulnerable young youth and recruit them. In 2014, at age 20, she used college tuition money to leave her family and country to join ISIS in Syria. Five years later, Muthana sits in a squalid Syrian refugee camp with her 18-month-old son. Shibley is trying to bring them back to America. Ooh, Pompeo released a statement. But this week, Secretary of State Mike Pompeo struck a major blow to that effort, saying Muthana is not a U.S. citizen and will not be admitted into the United States. The State Department says Muthana's father was a foreign diplomat from Yemen when she was born in the U.S., exempting her from automatic citizenship. Muthana's family says the diplomatic service 
service had ended before she was born. But they don't dispute Muthana's previous extremism. On Twitter, she had promised to burn her passport and called for terrorist attacks on Americans. Don Brammer is a former naval intelligence officer. She completely committed treason and conspiracy. People like to play the victim, especially when you're trying to ask for forgiveness. She's not asking for a get-out-of-jail-free card. She's acknowledged that she has made horrible mistakes. Shibley says Muthana has changed her beliefs and now wants to be an advocate against extreme ideology. And he says she's ready to submit herself to the American justice system, even if that means facing prison. In Washington, Drew Petromo, Fox 24 News. Thanks, Drew. Well, you can become a miracle maker or one-time donor for children who are patients at Arkansas Children's Northwest. The Give Kids a Miracle Telethon is underway right now. And to, to donate, you can visit our website, fox24news.tv, or call the number right on your screen. The final day of the two-day Give Kids a Mir Miracle Telethon just kicked off a little over a half an hour ago. That's where we find Fox 24's Chelsea Helms. Chelsea, how's it going out there? Kelly, I'd say it's going pretty great because I just found out we are just shy right now of raising $4,500 as part of the Give Kids a Miracle Telethon here at Arkansas Children's Northwest. And I'm learning that this money goes towards a number of different things. So for just $10, you can buy five pacifiers for babies in the inpatient unit. A $25 donation buys 18 aluminum finger splints for the emergency department. An infant blood pressure cuff can be purchased with $40. Bucks. $75 can fund a final treatment party for a child with pediatric cancer and for $150 you can fund the purchase of a pediatric IV pole. So if any of that has inspired you to give back, I encourage you, look at the bottom of your screen. The phone number is there. Call the lines. Go to our website, fox24news.tv. You can donate online, but just show your support for those kids here in Northwest Arkansas who benefit from Arkansas Children's Northwest. Kelly? Thanks so much, Chelsea. Well, Springdale schools celebrating Black History Month. How students are recognizing Afro-Latinos from the past coming up on Fox 24 News at 530. Plus, a preview of Arkansas's game tonight on the West Coast against USC. That's later in your Pig Trail Nation report. Kelly, coming up next in your Fox 20 forecast, over the weekend, the chance of storms returns. What's the timing of those storms? You know you want to plan for your weekend. Well, we've got that timing coming up, along with rain chances as early as tomorrow in your Fox 20 forecast next. You're watching Fox 24 News at 530 with Chelsea Helms, Chief Meteorologist Dan Scott, and Pig Trail Nation with Drew Ammon. Closed captioning is sponsored by Park Hill Clinic for Women. On Friday, we'll reveal how much money you donated during this week's Give Kids a Miracle Telethon. And keeping Northwest Arkansans healthy where residents can receive a free health screening. Plus a look at morning traffic and your bus stop forecast into the weekend. We'll show you that in the morning. Chris Fry talks to the movers and shakers of our community. Wednesdays on Fox 24 News at 7. Why are Subaru Outback owners always smiling? Because they've chosen the industry leader. Subaru Outback holds its value better than any other vehicle in its class, according to ALG. Better than Murano. Better than Santa Fe Sport. Better than Edge. Make every adventure a happy one with Subaru Outback. Get 0% APR financing on the 2019 Subaru Outback, now through February 28th. I scratch my skin until it bleeds. I cover up my body so that nobody can see. I don't feel comfortable with people touching me. These are the voices of psoriasis. A research study is now underway in Fort Smith to evaluate an investigational medication for moderate to severe plaque psoriasis. Qualified participants will receive all study-related investigational medication and care at no cost, as well as possible compensation for travel. To learn more, call 479-345-8900. The right hug makes all the difference. Michelin wiper blades with exclusive SmartFlex technology hug your windshield like our tires hug the road. For better visibility, see clearly, drive safely. Your weather authority forecast with Chief Meteorologist Dan Scoff. I love a good sunset, and it looks like another gorgeous one could be in the making tonight. You can see the clearing off in the distance along the horizon. It looks totally overcast, and it is, 
But the key is there's no low clouds off in the distance along the horizon. These clouds uh, continue all the way into central Oklahoma. Here's another look, and we've got our sky cams ready and lined up pointing to the west, and they're time lapsing as we speak. So maybe later on tonight we'll get some gorgeous colors starting to pop. Satellite and radar showing this weather system that's uh, providing the rain across central and eastern Arkansas, as well as Tennessee and northern Mississippi, northern Alabama, and I don't know if you see that, but a little red dot on your screen. That's a tornado warning. Obviously, it's south of Atlanta and Georgia, so it's not anywhere close to us, but it's a sign of all this jet stream energy that's flowing in uh, from the southwest. And this is pretty unusual. Los Angeles, parts of L.A., getting snow right now. That's how strong this system is. That's how cold it is. It's also snowing in Las Vegas as well. This is a large system, but it's going to translate eastward. And when it does, it interacts with moisture from the Gulf of Mexico and trouble is brewing, not only for a potential major snowstorm in Kansas as well as Nebraska and Iowa, but also for the severe weather potential and the heavy flooding that could be taking place in eastern Arkansas, western Tennessee, northwestern Mississippi. So I know what about around here? Well, the storms move in Saturday morning. This energy is rounding the base of this huge, large trough of low pressure, and our storm chances will increase. I'll show you the timing on when that happens. Tonight, right now, we're in the mid-40s, and as we move throughout the rest of the evening, we'll drop a few degrees only into the mid and upper 30s, so not below freezing. Look at how warm it is to our southwest, 65 in Midland, some rain-cooled air in Shreveport, and when we look at the 12-hour forecast timeline, there you see us dropping off into the upper 30s, mid to upper 30s across most of northwest Arkansas. We're at lower 40s in the River Valley with temperatures uh, still remaining well above freezing. So there's another flash flood warning that's just been issued. This is a pretty long satellite radar loop. You can see the cloud cover building in. There's the rain popping up throughout this Thursday. A lot of rain in the River Valley, too, with some showers that have been popping up. And look at those high clouds streaming in across the area. Now, on Saturday morning, this is definitely uh, on the top of our list. It's what we're circling on the calendar, a severe weather risk. We've got a slight risk of severe weather in the River Valley. Keep in mind, this is three days out, so it could change. It could shift farther southwest. And uh, the timing of this could also change. But this is what it's looking like right now. So the future track overnight tonight showing abundant cloud cover, but then those clouds will start forming into showers as uh, this energy starts to move in. It's a little piece of energy, so widespread rain possibly for your morning commute on uh, Friday. Finally, Friday afternoon. Looking okay, but more thunderstorms could pop up from time to time Friday night. Now, Saturday morning, check this out. Looks pretty quiet, just some showers, and then things go downhill pretty fast. 8 o'clock in the morning Saturday, widespread thunderstorms. And you can see the red. I mean, even kindergartners know red on the radar, no good. And you can see these storms really cranking up as this energy moves in. Now, late Saturday morning, some of these storms that you see in the eastern sections of the River Valley, those are the ones that can produce significant severe weather, including large hail, damaging winds, and even isolated tornadoes. Northwest Arkansas will be more what we call elevated storms and what we mean hailer. So it looks like it's raining all day Saturday, Kelly. It's mm -hmm. not. It's mainly in the morning hours. I can't stress that enough. So by Saturday afternoon, you'll have to hold on to your hats, though, because the wind is going to be rather strong. Like, you and I would not be able to play tennis. I was going to say, we should. Sunday would be the day to play yeah. tennis, right? Sunday's the day. Saturday, if you do your <laughs> toss, it'd be over the fence <laughs> behind you. It'd be almost impossible to serve that in 50 mile an hour gusts. I wouldn't be able to hit that. All right, it, thanks. I might <laughs> be able to beat you then, maybe. We should play we'll Saturday. We'll see. We'll that see. might be the only way I can beat you. <laughs> thanks, Dan. Coming All up, right. honoring your pet in an artistic way, a local business says, you don't want to miss out this weekend. And be sure to like, fi uh, find, and follow us. We're all over over social media, tracking stories throughout the day. To find us, just search for Fox 24. Caitlin Zollner has the answers. You ask, we investigate. Wednesdays on Fox 24 News at 7. For 60 years, Swift's Jewelry in downtown Fayetteville has been your personal jeweler. Swift's creates custom jewelry, modernizes heirloom keepsakes, overhauls watches, engraves, and carries a wide variety of luxury jewelry and gifts. We specialize in bridal and take pride in offering absolute flexibility in design and budget to create the perfect one-of-a-kind item for someone special in your life. The only Northwest Arkansas jeweler recognized as a master jeweler by the Independent Jewelers Organization. Let's Swift's give you the brilliance you deserve. Handled with care, crafted with pride. Swift's Jewelry on Block Street in Fayetteville since 1956. Wumpy trash bags. Come on. Hefty, hefty, hefty.
Hey, ladies. Buy Hefty Ultra Strong at a low price. Dada. I wish. Get Hefty Ultra Strong. Costs less than Glad Force Flex were sold head to head. Five steps for perfect winter skin. Five steps. My skin gets so dry and itchy, I need serious relief. That's why I use O'Keefe Skin Repair. It's 48 hour moisture in one use and guaranteed relief for dry, itchy skin. Thanks to O'Keefe's, I got my skin back. Did you know that minorities are 1.4 times more likely to be obese? This epidemic of obesity can be slowed with a simple lifestyle change by cooking with love and eating in as a family. Cooking at home is healthier, less expensive, promotes family togetherness, and helps prevent heart disease. So cook with love. Eat in tonight. Go to southernaintfry.org for meal plans and healthier alternatives to preparing southern-style foods and begin your transition to healthier living. George has heart failure and a busy day ahead. George has Entresto, a heart failure pill that helps keep people alive and out of the hospital. Don't take Entresto if pregnant. It can cause harm or death to an unborn baby. Don't take Entresto with an ACE inhibitor or Alaskirin, or if you've had angioedema with an ACE or arm. The most serious side effects are angioedema, low blood pressure, kidney problems, or high blood potassium. Ask your doctor about Entresto. The beat goes that was great. Your life, your news. You're watching Fox 24 News. New at 530, Lakeside Junior High School students celebrated Black History Month by recognizing Afro-Latinos from the past. The students were tasked to research Afro-Latinos and African Americans along with their contributions around the world. Students uh, made comparisons between the two cultures and their history. They were then presented their projects to community members this morning. And in Fayetteville, a local business is giving pet owners a chance to honor furry family fa family members in a unique way. Mighty by Design will host a pause and paint event this weekend. All materials will be provided for people to come paint their beloved pets. Owners can even bring their animals with them. Attendees will leave with a new art piece, but studio staff hope the process will also be therapeutic. And now we'll head into our Pig Trail Nation set with Drew Ammon. Drew, how are the Razorbacks looking? Hey, Kelly, we're talking hog baseball. Still more than two and a half hours away from game time. Late start tonight, USC and Arkansas. That preview is just ahead. And you'll hear from the newest assistant coach for Razorback football. There he is, Kenny Ingram. Mike Irwin with that report after this. 25% off cash deals, 15% off credit deals, and free delivery. All in February at Frank Rowe Furniture. Where there's smoke, there's going to be the area's best ribs, barbecue, burgers, and more at Smoke and Joe's Rib House. Cooking you the best award-winning barbecue for over 25 years. Smoke and Joe's Rib House. We offer the best quality meats, burgers, and specialty sandwiches. You won't know where to start. We also offer catering for weddings, business lunches, tailgate parties, and more. Give us a call for for pricing and more details. Visit us at our new location at 200 North 8th Street in Rogers. This is the all-new Chevy Silverado. It's beautiful. Beefy and mean looking. It's the strongest, most advanced Silverado ever. The cab is bigger than the last generation. First truck I've seen make you look small. <laughs> <laughs> but that's not all. Oh, oh my. Whoa. The Silverado has more cargo volume than any competitor. Very impressive. Now, during the Chevy President's Day sales event, get 0% financing for 72 months on this all-new Silverado. See your Northwest Arkansas Chevy dealers. Arby's 2 for 5 Mix and Match has a pairing for everyone. If you're a cheese lover, get a beef and cheddar and loaded curly fries. If you're a roast beef enthusiast, get a roast beef and a beef and cheddar. If you're a fish guy or gal, get two fish sandwiches. And if you still can't choose, just do what I do. Snake eyes. Arby's, we have the meat for sandwiches. I'm Ken Osborne. And I'm Sammy Wilma. If your workers' compensation claim has been denied, we can lead you through the appeal process. We have over 29 years of combined experience. You pay nothing unless you win. We're not tall building lawyers. Come on in, have a cup of coffee, let us help you. Oh, nice. 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 Found a dollar? That's the price of any size soft drink. Enjoy more favorites on the one, two, three dollar menu at McDonald's. Now, from Fayetteville, high on the hill, this is your Big Trail Nation report.
sponsored by Crane Automotive Team. Okay, Chad Morris had to fill the void left by John Scott Jr. when Scott went to South Carolina to coach the D-line. Enter Kenny Ingram in this report from Mike Irwin. It's not hard to see why Chad Morris hired Kenny Ingram to coach defensive tackles at Arkansas. He will be working hand-in-hand -hand with Steve Caldwell, who coaches the defensive ends. The ties those two have go all the way back to when Caldwell coached Ingram as a D-lineman at Arkansas State. We're both on the same page of what we teach technique-wise, and I think that's an easy adjustment, again, because of his background and our background together. A background that Ingram has great memories of. Uh, someone I respect, uh, someone that has had influence in my life and the role that he had and position at the time in my life. So I appreciate that and I appreciate having the opportunity uh, to work with him. Ingram has coached the D-line at Tennessee State, Cincinnati, and Arkansas State, but it's his ties in Memphis where he played and coached on the high school level that got Morris's attention. It was all about recruiting. Kenny's a legend in Memphis. Uh, you know, he, he, everybody knows him. You know, I, I think too, uh, you know, it was important for him to be in a place too where, uh, where he felt good about the people that he was going to be around. So it's really a two-for-one hire. Arkansas gets a D-line coach that is a natural fit with the current staff and a coach that knows recruiting in Memphis, a priority for Morris like few others. Mike Irwin for the Pig Trail Nation. Yeah, I gotta love that, Mike. Thanks much. Interviews with all 10 assistant football coaches are on Hogsville. Otis Kirk writing about cornerback Jordan Curtis, who is now a running back, and details Arkansas's top 10 prospects in the class of 2020. USC up next for Arkansas baseball. The Trojans scored 26 runs combined, winning two out of three over Omaha. USC hosting Arkansas tonight at nine in game one of a three-game set. I'll tell you, they're, uh, they're a West Coast team. They have a lot of good players. It's hard to tell, uh, you know, how they are after playing one weekend. Same with us. And I think for both teams, I, I would imagine they feel the same as us, that this will be a weekend to kind of tell where we're at. In the meantime, Arkansas and Georgia tonight in Athens. Georgia picked to finish third in the SEC, has won three of its last five. I know their full attention is on the NCAA tournament. I don't anticipate they'll be doing anything other than looking at an opportunity to get a win. We knew what was coming. We, we are self-aware enough to know that that seven-game stretch that we had after starting 5-2 and two was going to be incredibly difficult. And winning at Georgia it is no easy task. That tips on tonight at 6. Finally, a chance to see Bridgeback softball at home. It is game number 10 overall this season. Let's check in now on this game at Bogle Park. Alyssa Orange live. What's up, Alyssa? That's his strikeout. Be on the lookout for a t-shirt. Well, hey there, Drew. 12th ranked Razorbacks uh, currently in game one between Southeast Missouri State here at the Razorback Invitational. It is currently tied 1-1 in the top of the fourth. Arkansas able to plate the first run with Hannah McEwen scoring on a sack fly by Kayla Green and then Simo able to tie it up in the top of the third. So that is where we sit right now through three. Of course, Arkansas will have this tournament throughout the weekend. South, uh, Southern Illinois University, Evansville, Drake, Indiana University, Purdue, University of Indianapolis, the other three teams in this tournament. So we're going to have highlights coming up later on tonight at nine, as well as the rest of the weekend as this Razorback Invitational continues. In Bogle Park, I'm Alyssa Orange. Drew, let's head back to you. All right, Alyssa, thanks very much. And again, that game has just now moved to the fourth inning, as Alyssa mentioned. Back to you. We'll have much more tonight at 9. All right. Thanks, Drew. Mm -hmm. Chief Meteorologist Dan Scoff joins us with a final look at his forecast when we come back. Park Hill Clinic, specializing in total health care for women for over 50 years. Today we're here to talk about trucks. I love trucks. Oh, what truck brand comes from the family of the most dependable, longest-lasting, full-size pickups on the road? I think it's the Chevy. Ford. It's not Ford. I think it's Ram. Not Ram either. That's it's Chevy. Chevy. Gorgeous. Current GM owners get a total value of $10,250 on this Silverado when you finance with GM Financial plus one-year Sirius XM all-access package. See your River Valley Chevy dealers. Do you want another truck or a truck like no other? One that makes people say, they put what in that truck? One that has capabilities you can't find in other trucks and ushers in a whole new age. The all-new Ram 1500, Motor Trends 2019 Truck of the Year. For deals like no other, come in now during Ram Truck Month. Or right now, get an average 16250 in total values on select 2019 Ram 1500 Classic models in dealer stock. And the furniture isn't hooked up. You can't use it. What does that even mean? It won't be hooked up for another week. That's absurd. <sighs> I told you.
It's like right here. But it's not hooked up. You can't use it. Keep trying. You don't wait to use your furniture. Why wait to use your internet? You're right, it's not hooked up. Get up and running on day one. Switch to Cox and get up to 300 meg speeds everywhere. Plans starting at $19.99 per month. Excuse me, miss. Is your honeydew list getting to be too much to handle? Why, yes, strange voice from the sky. Then you should call Wilson Home Services. At Wilson Home Services, they do it all, from drywall to assembly and everything in between. And with a three-year warranty on every job performed, they show they actually care. If there's an issue, they make it right. Call Wilson Home Services today for a free in-home consultation and knock out that honeydew list in no time. Thanks, strange voice in the sky. Hey, did you know that Chevy has seven great cars with a starting price under $26,000? Like this Camaro and this Malibu. And let's not forget this cruise sedan and cruise hatch. And finally, this Spark, Sonic sedan, and Sonic hatch. So no matter what you're looking for, Chevy has a car for you. That's awesome! Yeah! Get $2,250 total cash allowance on most Cruise and Malibu models when financing with GM Financial. Plus, current GM owners get an additional $1,000 cash allowance. Find new roads at your local Chevy dealer. Here's a look at our seven-day Fox 20 forecast. Temperatures right around the upper 50s on Friday. Saturday in the mid to upper 60s, but thunderstorm chances, Kelly, as we mentioned, Saturday morning. We'll have a timing update tonight at 9. All right, so it looks like Sunday is the day to head out. Maybe stay in on Saturday, watch a movie. That's right, yeah. All right. So, so, Sunday is going to be an amazing day for the weekend. All right, sounds good. Thanks so much for joining us. We'll see you tonight at 9.